my name is Lynette Thomas, and I finally get the opportunity to address directly to you something I've been screaming at you about for the past decade. The corruption of family court and juvenile court and child services. Um, it's because of the laws that you guys make and pass, and Steve LaTourette, our wonderful congressman, I have a lot of respect for you, but even after knowing and, and, and seeing all of the research that I provided, your assistant, Nick Siofani, wonderful guy, you still voted to refund the Adoption and Save Families Act earlier this year. I am appalled. And I get the fact that you guys don't care of, about like statistics from John Walsh show in 2003 that children are 11 times more likely to be abused and even molested in foster homes than they are in their natural homes and seven times more likely to die as a result of that abuse. I get it that you don't care about that. You care about the money. Well, how about $800 billion a year of unnecessarily spent funds that are supporting the abuse, neglect, molestation, and even murder of our children? I was hoping to be able to do this without getting emotional. But it's a little too late to do anything to help Nina, Philippe, and Carmen, my children. My youngest daughter is now with me, and she's doing wonderfully. And that in itself exemplifies the difference that of between you guys controlling the very personal lives of, of families and children and ignoring the business of managing the judges and the social workers. There's absolutely no accountability for social workers, and you guys keep bouncing us back to the state. Well, you guys fund 51% of their organizations and their um, the nonprofits and everything that they do. And a lot of people are very um, confused. They don't understand why children who are abused by their natural parents get their kids back. Well, it's because they jump through the hoops. Follow the money. And the biggest thing I can say right now is repeal CAPTA and the Adoption Save Families Act. Thank you, Bill Clinton. Um, he's the one that wrote that into law, and his wife helped write it. And make child abuse a crime regardless of the biological connection.